afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. If you would, please introduce yourself to the jury. Hi, I'm Kelly Andrews. And Ms. Andrews, are you currently married? Yes, I am. Who is your husband? Sean Andrews. How long have you all been married? 13 years. Do you know someone by the name of Kay Baker? Yes, I do. Was she a friend of yours? Yes, we've been friends for about 14 years. And can you give the jury some idea of the type of friendship you have? Are you like people who only talk to every once in a while, saw each other all the time, whatever the case may be? Uh, when we first met, it was um, once in a while, and then we became closer as the years went on. Um, she became one of my best friends. We um, were very close, vacationed together. Our kids grew up together, and um, they came over and played very often. And so throughout those years, as your friendship developed, you're married to Sean Andrews? Correct. And so does... Kay becomes Sean's friend, too, in the process? Yes, she does. Do you know someone by the name of Matthew Terry? Yes, I do. Do you see Mr. Terry in the courtroom? Yes, I do. Could you please point to him and describe what he's wearing so we know exactly who it is you're talking about? Uh, he's sitting there in the gray suit and the glasses between the two attorneys. All right, thank you, Honor. That's the record reflect. She's identified the defendant. The record shall so reflect. Did you ever have a chance to hang out with Kay Baker and the defendant when they were in a relationship? Yes, I have. And when do you think the relationship between them started? Um, it started long distance, and then it became more serious um, towards the end of 2021. And uh, then he, it was a long distance relationship, and then he eventually moved down in 2022. Okay. Prior to them starting a long distance relationship and your time hanging out with the defendant and Ms. Baker, did the, did the couple ever indicate to you that they actually had a relationship many years ago? Yes, they dated when they were um, a lot younger and uh, ended the relationship. It was amicable. They did remain friends and then rekindled later on. All right. And somewhere in between, did, did Ms. Baker get married? Yes, she got married um, in between, and I believe he did too. All right. And so after both of their relationships, their marriages had ended, somewhere later they decided to rekindle a, a long-ago relationship? Correct. Now, uh, did Ms. Baker have children by her marriage to another man? Yes, she did. And on the night of May 28th, 2022, were those children with Ms. Baker or were they, were they with the ex-husband? They were with the ex-husband. So she did not have custody of them that particular night? No. Uh, you mentioned that the defendant eventually moved down. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know where he moved down from? Michigan. And where is Ms. Baker originally from? Michigan. So they, they had dated in Michigan and then she eventually moved to Florida and then many years later he follows her? Correct. When he moved down from Michigan, did he move into Ms. Baker's home? Yes, he did. And so did him, Ms. Baker, and the two children all live together in that home? Yes. Anyone else living there? No. Prior to Mr. Terry moving down and living in Ms. Baker's home, did he ever come down to visit as the relationship was still kind of long distance? Um, only in 2022, he had come down a few times and then he moved down a little after that. And when do you think he moved down to Florida in 2022? Um, probably towards the end of February, early March. All right, so when you say he came down in 2022, that was maybe like in January then? Yes. But before that, do you know if Ms. Baker was maintaining a, a long-distance relationship, emails, phone calls, text messages, whatever? Definitely text messages and phone calls. So now Mr. Terry has moved down. Um, Kay Baker is one of your best friends. Um, how often, once Mr. Terry moves down, do you all hang out? Quite often. And Wait. when I say hang out, is there ever a situation where you hang out alone with the defendant? No. Is there ever a moment where... Kay Baker hangs out alone with your husband? No. So when you're hanging out, you're basically like always as couples? Yes. Or I guess maybe just you and Kay might hang out? Yeah, we would go out together. Okay. So did you get to know Mr. Terry then? Yes, I did. Did you ever get to hang out with him in a social function where drinking was occurring? Yes. Was that more than once? Yes. Did you have multiple opportunities then to observe Mr. Terry and what he was like when he would drink? Yes.
Okay, so I think I know why the sidebar, the question was about what the defendant was like after he consumes alcohol. Thinking they're going down, going down the road of maybe that he gets angry or maybe um, has, has a pattern of not being able to handle his alcohol well. Uh, let me bring in my guest to see what he thinks. I have attorney Brian Silber standing by in Fort Lauderdale. Brian is a former prosecutor and practicing criminal defense attorney. Uh, what do you think, Brian? Are we going to hear this answer? Good afternoon. Uh, so I, I have issues with it. I think this is a textbook example of inadmissible character evidence. They're trying to smear this man in front of the jury based on his drinking. So if, if this is gonna have any relevance in this case, they first have to bring in the evidence that establishes why this is relevant. And the prosecutor has simply failed to do that. You know, the, the testimony it, by you know, the prior witness. I'm so sorry, witness. I have to stop you there because they, they came back from that sidebar quickly. I don't know if we can rewind the tape. Um, it'd be great to hear if they were able to get out that question. Did you arrive there alone or with your husband? Alone first. Your husband came later? Yes, he did. Why did he come later? Uh, he was working. And when does your husband typically work? Does he have like a sort of set, set schedule? Yes, he usually works till about six and then uh, gets home around seven. All right, so he wouldn't have been there until seven-ish? Yeah, a little after seven. You were there before him then? Correct. When you got to the landing, who was there already? Uh, Kay and Matt were there and some other friends that I had just met that night. And do you remember the name of any of them? Uh, I remember Tara and I believe her name was Lynette. Okay, these were friends of Kay's? Yes, they were. When you arrived, were people already having drinks and eating food and whatever else was going on? Yes. So now you sit down, you join them, eventually at some point your husband shows up. Are you also eating and drinking at the, the landing? Yes, I am. And what are you drinking that night? Uh, I was drinking White Claw. What does your husband drink? Bud Light. <laughs> what, is, <laughs> what does Kay Baker drink? Um, usually she will drink White Claw or wine, but I think that night she was drinking a mixed drink. Some kind of liquor? Yes. Did you make any observations or do you know what the defendant was drinking that night? The same thing. The it looked like the same thing, a mixed drink drinks? with alcohol, yes. Okay, and so I'm sure that you were not actively keeping track of the number of drinks every person was having, but were people drinking throughout the night? Yes, they were. Can you give us some indication as to how rapidly people were drinking? Were they like tossing back shots at high volume or were they sipping drinks throughout the night? Sipping drinks throughout the night, um, but quite often though, a little okay. more. So I want to eventually turn your attention to around 10 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. um, did there come a time somewhere around there that you went to the restroom? Yes. And just prior to you going to the restroom, did Ms. Baker go to the restroom? Yes, she went before me. And so did there come a point at which she's coming back from the bathroom and you're going towards the bathroom and the two of you cross each other? Yes. And do you remember interacting with Ms. Baker in that moment? Yes, we came up to each other um, closer to the bathrooms and uh, started talking and doing a little dance. All right, and this is the part where I'm going to want to show some video. So, Your Honor, if I can approach. Yes. Ma'am, I'm going to show you four discs mm -hmm. that are labeled as State's Exhibit number 53 for identification purposes. Did you have a chance to watch these discs? Yes, I did. Did you watch each of them individually? Yes, I did. Do these discs fairly and accurately depict events that took place on the evening of Friday, May 27th, 2022 at the Landing Bar and Grill involving yourself, Ms. Baker, and the defendant? Yes. Your Honor, at this time, I'd move into evidence state's exhibit number 53, which is four discs uh, of various clips. Are they labeled separate? The discs are each in Okay, so the jury seems uh, to be getting ready to see some surveillance footage that's going to be introduced. Uh, it's a pretty key witness, and we're going to hear everything she has to say. After this quick break, we're nearing the top of the hour. Got to step aside quickly. Tweet us. Let us know what you think of the math teacher murder trial at Court TV is our network handle. We'll be right back with more Court TV Live after this. 5456. being with us here on Court TV Live. I'm your midday host, Julie Grant. Just after midnight on May 28th of this year, a neighbor heard screams coming from his backyard. 
where he would find 43-year-old elementary school teacher Kay Baker taking her last breaths. A blood trail would later lead police to Baker's boyfriend, Matthew Terry. He was laying in an overgrown area about 100 yards away from the crime scene with injuries of his own. Now the state of Florida is seeking the death penalty against Terry in their prosecution of him. Prosecution team is pointing to a 2017 incident where he stabbed his then girlfriend as an aggravating factor. Now, whether that evidence comes in during this part of the trial remains to be seen. Let's get you back into the courtroom now. We've got Kay Baker's dear friend, Kelly Andrews, on the witness stand. She's talking to the jury about the hours leading up to her friend's death name but I'll read into the record when I play them but but they're not a B C and D uh, no because they're they're named after the disc the, the file name of the disc so for example this one is d12 underscore two zero two two zero five two eight one 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 zero five five dash C they're all labeled that way I can take the time to write an A, B, and C on them if you want. I prefer a D. I prefer that you just do that as a composite A, B, C, and D. All right. For the record, I'm going to take the disc labeled. D12 underscore two zero two two zero five two eight oh eight four nine three nine dash C and label that as a and then going to take the disc labeled D12 underscore two zero two two zero five two eight one zero 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 one seven dash C and label that B I'm going to take the disc labeled D06 underscore 2022052809 dash c and label that one C. And then obviously the last disc will be D. And I would now ask to move into evidence states exhibit number 53, a composite of videos labeled A, B, C, and D. Any objection? No objection. It'll be admitted as 53 composite A through D. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, I would ask for permission to publish. You may publish. All right, and I'm officially starting with disc A. <coughs> Now I'm going to pause the video a second. Um, on the video, there's a timestamp that says 5-8-28-2022, Saturday, 9-59-07 a.m. On the video, there is a series of people seated at the end of that table closest in the picture. Um, there's an individual wearing sort of a peach or orange colored top. Who is that? That would be me. There is a person seated directly next to you wearing a sort of greenish colored shirt. Who is that? Uh, Matt. There is a person. There is a person seated next to who you've described as Matt wearing a blue shirt. Who is that? My husband, Sean. There is two other people at that table. There is a, a person in a red shirt. Who is that? That would be Kay. And then there is one other person seated next to her in a dark or black colored shirt. Do you know who that is? Tara. And across the table from them is a gentleman in a white hat who at the moment appears to be smoking. Who is that? I believe it's our husband. That's Tara's husband? Yes. Okay. So you're in peach, Matt is in green, your husband Sean is in blue, Kay's in red, and Tara's in black. Is that correct? Correct. Now, I paused it for a second, but it appears that Mr. Terry had something up to his face. He had his, both of his hands up to his face. Do you know what he's doing in that moment? 
No, I do not. Do you know if he's drinking? Do you remember if he's drinking? Yes, I know he was drinking that night. Okay. He was drinking during this time? Yes. And for a split second there, right at about 9.59.23, Kay Baker slapped or patted a gentleman seated against the wall there uh, with a hat turned backwards. Do you know who that is? Yes, that is Nick, her neighbor, who also works at the landing. Ms. Baker has now left the patio area and has gone inside. Is this the time that she's going to the restroom? Yes. And almost immediately, the defendant appeared to look at her and then follow her into the restaurant. Is that him going in? Yes. She, she can answer yes or no, so a little less to leave. Was that the defendant who got up and followed Ms. Baker in? Yes. All right, I'm gonna switch videos then for a second. We're gonna move to disc B. At roughly 10.01 a.m., as, as according to the timestamp on the video, you're walking away from the table now. Do you remember where you're going? I'm going to the restroom. And then is Mr. Terry and Ms. Baker already still inside, having gone inside? Yes. All right, I'm going to change off of this for a moment. I'm going to move to what is marked as disc C. Now, having been to the landing, can you tell what we're looking at here from this camera angle? Yes. And what are we looking at? Um, the angle where the bathrooms are here, and then you walk around, and then there's the bar, and then you keep going this way, and then that's the exit to the patio. All right, and so I know you, you, you pointed, but for purposes of the record, there's like some markings on the video, like a, a time and a date, and a place where it says side dining. Can you use those, those as reference points to describe where the bathroom is? Uh, yes, the bathroom is, I, I, do you want me to point? <laughs> you can either point or describe it. Okay, so it's by this where the word says side dining. So basically in the camera angle, it's the bottom right corner. Yes. And the door that would then lead in and out from the patio area, where is that in the video? Uh, the, the top right corner. All right, so top right corner is where you come in and out of the, the patio. Correct. Now there's a person walking past the bar and now turning in a red shirt. Do you see that person? Yes. Is this Ms. Baker going to the restroom? Yes, it is. There's now another person coming, walking past the bar, turning and heading towards the bathroom. Is that the defendant? Yes, it is. I'm gonna let it play for a minute or two.
All right, I'm stopping it at 10.01.18. There is a person coming out of the bathroom in that area where it says side dining in a red t-shirt. Who is that? That is Kay. And now at 10.01.20, there's a person coming, walking along the bar from that top right corner in an orange or peach colored top. Who is that? That is me. Now, before I play the video, I want to ask you a question about that night. Somewhere during the course of the evening, did the defendant ever accuse his girlfriend of sort of dancing with some other person? Yes, he did. Did you physically hear the defendant make that accusation? Yes, I did. The portion of the video we're about to watch, is that the only portion that in any way relates to any sort of accusation of dancing with another man? Yes, it does. And I know it's a little hard to see, but trailing behind you on the video, there's a guy coming in sort of a white shirt, like a white baseball jersey. You've got, you watched this video, right? Yes, I have. Do you know who that is? No, I do not. Is that any person that you've ever met? No. Is that any person that was there with you at the landing that night? No. Is that any person that you saw interacting with Kay Baker other than what we're, and whatever we're about to see in the next few seconds of this video? No. This is somebody unknown to both you and your friend, Ms. Baker? Correct. And we're going to see it right after we step aside for a quick break. We thank you for watching the math teacher murder trial with us here on Court TV Live. Go head over to Twitter during the break. Let us know what you think of this case so far. At Court TV is our network handle. At Julie, Court TV is mine. We'll see you back here in just a couple of minutes. With Worthy.com. So much for staying with us. I'm Julie Grant. We're watching the math teacher murder trial playing out in Tampa, Florida. Right now on the stand, we've got the victim's dear friend. She was with her on the night in question. They were all at a local restaurant called The Landing. Everybody was having a good time eating and drinking. We see that there's a point where the victim gets up, goes to the restroom, the defendant follows her. And then the prosecutor started asking this witness about how there came a point where the defendant got mad and started accusing the victim of dancing with another man. We're gonna see some surveillance video of that moment. I bet it's gonna be quick based on what the prosecutor said. Take a look. Ten oh one thirty. We burned about ten seconds. Can you describe what is happening in that moment between you and Miss Baker? Uh, we were we are hugging after we did a little dance. Um, just excited for the evening out. And um, before that, a gentleman had walked by, and Kay turned for half a second and put her hands up. Okay. Did standing there? Did you think Kay was dancing with that guy? No, not at all. Did, did that man, like, come up and dance any more with Kay than we see on that video? No, he just passed by. Right. Relevance to anything that we think about what we saw, the jury can certainly make their determination from the video. I'll ask it a different way. Fresh. Ma'am, is there anything about this video to suggest that it's somehow been altered, that there's some extended period of dancing that we're not seeing? No. I'm going to back up one second to right in the middle of that. Right at 10.01.24, there's a person coming out of the bathroom at the bottom right-hand corner in a green shirt. You see that person? Yes, I do. Who's that? That is Matthew Terry. And so I'll play the video again from that second. Right there at 10.01.33 or 32, did you see a person looking back at both you and Ms. Baker? No, I did not at the time. I do now in the video, though. But do you recognize who that person is in the video? Yes, I do. Who is that? That is Matthew Terry. All right, and I'll play this for a few minutes.
Ma'am, you and Ms. Baker appear to be talking. Do you remember having a conversation with Ms. Baker during this time? Yes, I do. Was she expressing any desire to dance with some other man or date some other guy or break up with Mr. Terry or anything like that? No. There's a gentleman at about 10.02.50 that came out of the bathroom wearing a jersey that's labeled Pedroia. Is that the same gentleman that danced past you earlier? Um, from the video I've seen now, I believe so, but I don't remember at the time because I wasn't paying attention. Now at about 10.03.25, is that you going to the restroom? Yes, it is. And where is Miss Baker walking towards? She's walking towards the patio. All right. So I'm going to swap back to disc B. <clears throat> and I'm going to jump forward just a little bit here. It's 10.01.20, you have left already and gone inside, is that correct? Correct. Ten oh one forty two. there's a person coming out from a door and heading towards the table. Do you recognize that person? Yes, I do. Who is that? Matthew Terry. Ten oh two oh five. There are two gentlemen standing at the bar area. Is that your husband and Mr. Terry? Yes, it is. There's a gentleman who's just walked up back from the table and is going to the door, looking in for a split second, and then turning back around. Is that Mr. Terry? Yes, it is. Ma'am, since we originally saw the video, there's a person at the end of the table, at the end of the table across from your husband. Do you know who that person is? I believe that's Tara's son. All right. And also around this time, 10.03.35, somebody has come out from inside of the business and is walking towards the camera's uh, direction and is wearing a red shirt. Who's that? Kay Baker. Someone stuck their leg out and then Ms. Baker stopped and turned to that person. Is that Nicholas Calicochi? Yes, it is.
Ma'am, 10.04.43, there's a gentleman seated at the table. He's got his arms crossed across his chest. Is that the defendant? Yes, it is. Ten oh five forty five. There's someone coming out in a peach or orange colored top. Is that you? Yes, it is. Now, before you sit down, I want to ask you, what do you remember happening at this moment when you get back to the table in regards to the defendant? When I sat down, uh, Matt immediately asked me who was Kay dancing with. And did you have any idea in that moment what he was talking about? No, I mean, I, I knew that there was a gentleman that passed us, um, but explained that she wasn't dancing with him, that it was just a mere passing. And so did you specifically tell the defendant that Kay Baker was not dancing with the other guy? Correct. And how did the defendant react or respond to that? Um, he was very insistent that she did, and that um, I remember him saying something very strange along the lines of, I want to protect my queen and my kingdom. I was telling him he was being jealous and just to stop. And when you told him that he was being jealous, did he let it go? How did he react? Um, after explaining to him over and over again what had really happened, um, he was pretty insistent for a while, and then he seemed to let it go at the moment. Okay, so you, you describe it in a couple short sentences. He asked you who she was dancing with. You say she wasn't. You tell him he's, you say something about him protecting his queen and his kingdom, and you tell him to stop being jealous. But is this more of a back and forth? Um, for the most part, I am getting defensive of Kay as my friend and accusing him of being jealous, and he just wants to know who she's dancing with, yes. All right, so I'm going to play a little bit of the video now. Ten oh six oh eight into 09, Mr. Terry's leaning forward, and now you turn your attention to him. And then at ten oh six fifteen, you turn your head. Tell us what's happening. Uh, that was the point where he asked me who was Kay dancing with. And right about ten oh six twenty one, you sort of pump your fist for a second. What are you doing in that moment? Uh, showing him what Kay was doing at the time, a little dance with me, and then quickly turn for half a second to the gentleman that passed by. All right, and so is this the time that you're talking about where he's telling you that he thinks Kay's danced with another guy and you're telling him no, she didn't? Correct.
Somebody's looking mad and jealous, doing a lot of staring and drinking. We're going to hit the pause button here. You're going to see everything this jury is seeing in the math teacher murder trial. Don't go away. We have to step aside for a quick break. Thank you for watching Court TV. Nine. Thanks for being with us here on Court TV Live. I'm Julie Grant. We are watching the math teacher murder trial. This one playing out in Tampa, Florida. Before the break, we heard some testimony of one of Kay Baker's dear friends. This woman's name is Kelly Andrews, and she was with her on the night in question at a local restaurant called The Landing. And what the jury is doing right now is looking through some surveillance footage from that restaurant where you see the defendant doing a lot of staring and drinking, getting uh, what appears to be kind of jealous uh, when he saw a man pass by Kay Baker and she kind of put her arms up um, almost to indicate like a dancing movement. but. When we say it was like a second, it, it, it really was. I mean, if you've been watching, you saw the video, it was that fast. Uh, let me bring in my guests for some analysis before we go back in for that testimony. Uh, resuming, I have with me in Fort Lauderdale, former prosecutor and criminal defense attorney, Brian Silber, and in Dallas, Texas, retired police commander and the host of the Profiling Evil podcast, Mike King. Great to have you gentlemen on the show today. Uh, let's talk about what we're seeing in that video and how that defendant is looking. Uh, let me go to you first, if I may, please, Brian. So to be perfectly honest, I'm just not seeing it. I just see some people sitting in a bar doing basically nothing. Uh, you know, of course, he had a drink, but I don't see the excessive drinking. He's not putting back shot after shot, beer after beer. Um, for a guy that allegedly stabbed his girlfriend to death, he certainly didn't confront anybody in the bar. He didn't walk up to them and start a fight. He didn't get into a shoving match. Uh, he's just having a conversation that appears very calm and collected with one of the other people he's at the bar with, which by the way, it must happen a million times a night in this country where couples go out to a bar and one gets upset because the other was talking to another person. You know, that doesn't necessarily mean it results in homicide. Uh, if he was acting out of control, if he got into a fist fight with the guy, if the other guy was the victim, uh, this would tell me something about the case. But when I watch these videos, I just don't see the needle moving in the direction of the prosecution. If anything, this is exculpatory evidence because it fails to show he had a violent reaction to what was allegedly taking place. To me, he seems very calm and collected. And I think that's how the jury will receive this evidence as well. Okay, appreciate your opinion, Brian. So Brian thinks that this evidence helps the defense. Commander King, uh, your opinion on this, please. I appreciate Brian's position on this. I guess I am looking at it a little differently. And maybe that's because I spent most of my career looking at behaviors and what's going on. Number one, I, I don't see anything with, with this interaction where they walk by each other that would cause anyone to be unhappy. So this is why it's so important that this uh, testimony of the girlfriend is being put in front of the jury, that she's saying these are the things he was complaining about. These are the things that he was angry about. He was acting jealous. But you can see him starting to heat up as he sits at that table. And, you know, as we look at the behavior, some people, they communicate more with touching. Others are a little more standoff. Kay is certainly an individual who communicates by touch. We see it when she walks to the bathroom. We see it when she sees her girlfriend. I mean, they've been, they're have been they out drinking together, but she sees her after leaving the restroom and they hug and they dance a little bit. I mean, this is a person who really loves life. So what's gonna become important as all of this is being laid is that we start to ha understand what's happening in the, not just these private lives that we're seeing right now on video, but that we start to, I mean, these public lives, but we start to see what's happening in the private life. Is there domestic violence? Are there uh, complaints? Are there charges or, or, or allegations or discussions with friends that have talked about this controlling nature? And frankly, I think all of this is really important as they lay groundwork to try to find a way to bring in those past behaviors. Uh, I always say it, Julie, past behavior is predictive of future behavior. And I think it laid out that way in this particular case. 
Appreciate it, Commander. And I have some scoop from our field producer, Tiffany Smith, who's in the courtroom watching the jury. Apparently, the jury is very attentive with this evidence. She said there are four of them taking tons of notes. Uh, some of them even have their notepads held up pretty high, she says, as the writing, others uh, holding the pads on their laps. So with that, let's go back in together and see more of the video. Ten oh nine oh seven. Mr. Terry just pushed in a chair and he's grabbing something off the table. Do you remember there coming a moment where he left the table temporarily? <coughs> yes, I do. And is he gone for a few minutes and at some point later both he and Ms. Baker come back? Yes. Ten oh nine twenty. Is that Miss Baker with her arm around Mr. Terry? Yes, it is. Did he just bring her a drink? Yes. Ten ten twenty four. Is that Miss Baker again with her armor on, Mr. Terry? Yes, it is. Is that now her rubbing his back and his shoulders? Yes. Is that Mr. Terry at 10, 11, 11, whispering into the ear of Kay Baker? Yes, it is. Ten eleven thirty five. Miss Baker and Mr. Terry have stopped talking face to face. They're not coming back to the table. Do you remember this moment when they come back to the table? Yes, I do. Tell us what happened. Um, Kay came up to me and asked me what was Matt talking about, and when he returned, he said, "Just own up to it." Mr. Terry said, "Just own up to it." Yes. Who did that comment appear directed at? Kay. So he was telling Kay Baker to just own up to it. And what ensued following just own up to it? Can you what, repeat what, that question? How did the conversation unfold from there? Um, she basically said, how can I own up to something that didn't happen? And at that point, did you realize that Mr. Terry was still accusing Kay Baker of dancing with someone else? Yes, I did. Did you attempt to again explain to Mr. Terry that Kay Baker was not dancing with another man? Correct. Is that what we're about to see? Yes.
All right, ma'am, at 10, 12, 06, you do this motion with your hands where you sort of cross them. What do you remember talking about in this moment? Uh, basically that I was explaining that the man had just passed by us at that time. All right, so you're still talking at this point about the accusation. Correct. Ten twelve thirty six. You're again doing this sort of fist pumping motion. What's happening then? Um, I'm just explaining how when we got together, we were doing a little dance, and that he came by and did it along with us as he passed by. I don't believe he even stopped. All right. So these seconds continue to unfold. This is all still that same conversation about the accusation. Correct. And how would you describe Mr. Terry's demeanor? during the course of this conversation? Uh, he was very frustrated and insistent that I did, that it did happen. I'll tell you something about domestic abusers. They are very skilled at controlling their anger. They are not people who have anger management problems. They strategically use violence to control their partners. Keep that in mind as we're watching this case with defendant Matthew Terry. We're gonna squeeze in a break now. We'll get you right back into the courtroom where we're leaving off here on Court TV Live. Tonight on Closing Arguments, big moments from today's testimony in the math teacher murder trial will break down the key pieces of evidence against Matthew Terry as our experts weigh in. And on the docket, looking ahead to tomorrow's competency hearing in the case against doomsday cult mom, Lori Vallow Daybell. We'll dive deeper into the key facts before these proceedings get underway. Closing Arguments with Vinny Palatan tonight at 8, 7 central, only on Court TV. 4-9 now. Welcome back to Court TV Live. I'm Julie Grant. Thank you so much for being with us on this Tuesday. Uh, here's what we're seeing in the math teacher murder trial. We're seeing surveillance footage of the night in question when Kay Baker was found dead. Now, before she was killed, she was at a restaurant with some friends. One of her dear friends is on the stand right now. And we're seeing in the video the defendant getting really angry. He appears to be very jealous, accusing her of dancing with another man. We are loving all of the tweets you are sending in. I want to read one of them from Lisa. She said, he's like a tea kettle getting ready to whistle. Love that take, Lisa. Let's go in now and uh, see some more of this video, shall we, where he's confronting Kay Baker about whether she danced with another man. Ten thirteen forty seven. you and Ms. Baker appear to be talking. Are you still talking about this argument or discussion about this accusation? Yes, we were.
101408, Ms. Baker appeared to put her hands up and walk away. Was that kind of the end of the conversation for the moment? For the moment, yes. All right, and so for the rest of the evening, does the accusation, at least as far as at the landing, does the accusation of dancing with another man come up again? Not at that time. All right, so I'm gonna jump to the final disc. Disc D. All right, it's now 11.37, uh, 28 a.m., according to the timestamp. Um, are you, your husband, Ms. Baker, and the defendant the only people left at the landing still? Yes. There's a variety of stuff on the table. Is that like, it looks like maybe a pizza carton or whatever? Is that like food that you all have already eaten? Yes. So I'm going to jump ahead. All right, it's now 11.37.58 a.m. on the timestamp on the video. Is that Ms. Baker grabbing her purse? Yes, it is. Is that, she seems to be talking to someone. Is she talking to Nicholas Calicochi? I believe she's saying goodbye. You appear to be on your phone. Do you remember what you were doing around this time? I was ordering an Uber home. 